Welcome back. Now, when you think of camogie players, you picture hardy sports women who are used to bruising encounters on the pitch. The back-to-back All-Ireland winning camogie champs from Wexford have decided to swap the sweaty jerseys for a more glamorous look. We're joined by four of the squad, Deirdre, Emer, Karen and Colleen. And you're all very welcome to our couch this morning, looking very glamorous. All very glamorous. <laughs> yeah. uh, you're kind of on downtime at the moment, Emer. Uh, as in, in you're, you're just doing club training, the inter-county stuff starts again when? Yeah, uh, I think you just said the 14th of January, so it's not too far around, only two months away or that. So we've had about five months off, but whereas the girls are still training hard for their clubs, so mm -hmm. we're lucky to get a bigger break than they do. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, congratulations, you guys won just, uh, you've won three times now at the All-Ireland. Uh, the last one was just in September gone. Yes, yes just and then the previous year and then back in 07 was was the last time and that was the the first time since what was it 1975 yeah. Yeah. so everybody must be delighted with you yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's a six title now for us wow and, oh, together, three, yeah. okay. and is jj a hard taskmaster Come on, dear, to be honest. <laughs> ah, he's okay, you know, if he has anything bad to say to you, he'll say it to you, but if, mm -hmm. he, if you do something good, he'd be the first to say it to you too, so okay. it's good. Well, it comes September, only one team can, can win the All-Ireland, but for every county, you're starting in January on very cold winter nights. Yeah. And tough that's one. tough training then. Yeah. It could be snowing or anything, and, you know, everyone just puts in the commitment, um, the hard work, you know, you know, like come September you want to be in a final and you know that's what you're hoping for so mm -hmm. you know it'll be worth your time you know come September. And how many nights a week are you training Karen? Are you out there you know up to three nights a week? Yeah or? three nights a week with county and then I suppose anyone that's club would have two or three nights in the same week as well so you'll be out most nights of the week and then matches at the weekend as well. Mm. Okay so you need some very understanding boyfriends or husbands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Husbands for Karen. <laughs> <laughs> are, are, are you, are you, you're the, are you one of the few married members on the team? I'm sorry, not married. Colleen, Colleen is oh, married. Sorry Colleen's yeah. married. Oh I beg your yeah. pardon. So um, um, I think there's six or seven of us. There could actually be I think there's eight of us, yeah. yeah. No, eight we're not the grannies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she says, she says, she hasn't even touched 20 yet. Yeah. Um, you come into Camogie at a younger age normally yeah. than you would if you were uh, playing hurling or football. Yeah, Camogie players tend to start a little bit earlier. I suppose it's maybe the, not seen as f more as physical as the men, but um, we would tend to start a bit younger. But as mm. I say, women do mature a bit, little bit earlier. So yeah. <laughs> maybe it goes in all grades, maybe. Well, we've already heard from, from Karen that there could be five, six nights of training per week and a couple of games as well. You also sacrifice your summer. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Summer holidays are, are things that aren't entertained by inter players. <laughs> no. Definitely not. Going no. to see a nightclub and drink once again. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because half the team are teachers as well. So, God, like it's bad enough for us, you know, working Monday to Friday. But mm -hmm. for them to be off during the summer and having to train and not, yeah. not leave Ireland anyway. nearly. Yeah. yeah, and do you get as, as much support in Wexford as the, as the men's, the, the hurling team? Because I know they get a lot of support. Is, is, is there a, as good a response uh, for the ladies? Come on, Ireland Day, there is. There yeah. is, yeah. In Crow Park this year, like nearly three quarters of the supporters there were from Wexford, like which wow. was unbelievable. Like when we were going up to get both cups, yeah. you could just see the crowds just flooding in, and it was just a great feeling, like to know everyone was behind you mm. after putting in all the tough work. And the homecoming as well, there's about yeah. 10,000, I'd say, in Wexford. Mm. Yeah, supporting us there in Wexford. So. But you know, women's sport, I suppose, wouldn't be followed half as much as men's, but it's increasing, like, and, mm. you know, especially when you have wins and in your county uh, and more clubs have developed too since 07 since you start finding yeah. success yeah. your Ross and Gorey has been it's been four or five yeah. new clubs yeah. four or five yeah. new Ross and Gorey so yeah. imagine all over Ireland if there's four or five in every county that yeah. Yeah. Now, I'm going to ask you a question right? uh, you can uh, uh, refuse to answer it but I just know from the hurlers that I know very few of them have all got their own teeth <laughs> <laughs> have you girls managed to hang on to yours? Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> camogie players in, in wear helmets nearly. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's not a known thing that um, we don't wear. I think it was up 2009 it, it came in that we had to wear helmets. Mm -hmm. Everyone has mm -hmm. to, like, there would be a few, an odd person that wouldn't have wore, wore a helmet up to then, but it's um, nearly all in our disciplinary that we yeah. nearly all wear them now. It's yeah, for, yeah. Adult, for adult level it came in yeah. only this year, wasn't it? Because it came into hurling last yeah. year and yeah. Mag yeah. Starcy, we yeah. our goalie, didn't wear a helmet, but she wears one now. She has to yeah. wear one this now. year was her first year wearing a helmet. Well, oh. there's no helmets in the lovely calendar. That yeah. <laughs> and let's get on to that because it, it's, it's a completely different look you're going for. And Deirdre, the calendar was your idea. Um, well, it was a friend of my boyfriend's actually. He owns a company in Camolin. 
and it was their 40th anniversary and they said it'd be nice to do something big and they're heavily involved with like sports, GA, camogie, so mm -hmm. they came up with the idea of doing a calendar. Well, first of all, I think it was, um, he was thinking a bit less clothes. <laughs> right. <laughs> but now, right. Um, you know, Gomp's got, got changed his mind on that, I said. I don't think uh, there'd be many <laughs> girls too pushed on doing that. Well, let's <laughs> see your photo. Uh, what month did you do? Um, I was September. Miss September. 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 That's okay. Miss Chair. <laughs> <laughs> you do have a school teacher type secretary look about you there. Like there's a money penny thing going on. Yeah. Well, they were going for um, geeky secretary. I was so. <laughs> <honest>, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a hair color looks. Yeah, looks was, sort of uh, that was. What, how, seven weeks ago, nearly on Friday, mm -hmm. and I got my hair done the next day, so I had a really bad route. So, <laughs> 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 your hair is a different colour in yours. What so month are you? I am April. Okay. So Where's your shop there? This is Miss April, Miss oh. Wheel. Miss <laughs> Wheel. And how did you feel about posing like that? And it was so uncomfortable. You, like, you wouldn't believe how models get themselves into shapes. I felt like I was all over the place. I didn't know what I was doing, but Dermot, the photographer, was great and he directed you and told you everything to do, so it was just a great experience and great to be able to do it. Like. Now, Karen, you're Miss May. Miss May, yeah, I am, yeah. Okay. yeah. Multitude of colours, I think I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with you, let's have a look at Miss May. There she is. No, that's, no, that's Miss January. That's January. <laughs> There yeah, she is. There I am, that's yeah. you with your hat. I look a bit devious with the hat over one eye, I think. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And yeah. how did you enjoy it? Because I know there was hours of hair and makeup went yeah. into making you all glamorous and was it was it a great fun? It was a very good experience. The, the, I'd say the hair and makeup took up most of the time because the photo shoot was only 10 minutes, I'd say, by the time you were finished. But it was lovely getting your hair and makeup and all done from going from tracksuits and skirts and jerseys mm. to these glamorous new people. Um, <laughs> it was a brilliant experience, though, so it was, yeah. Well, we got a shot uh, of you, yeah. Colin, because that, that, that was your picture that yeah. came up there. You're Miss January. You're kicking off the year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, of course, January is the month when you girls hope to take your holiday. I, is that where the money from the sale of the calendar will go? Um, no, it's actually to a players fund it is, okay. the money is going. Um, Fiverr goes to the players and it, the, the calendar is a 10 euro and half it goes to charity. Okay. Um, we've done well, when the calendar came in today, we wanted to know who was that on the cover? <laughs> yes, because right. it's the raciest kind of photo of the lot. Yes. A bit eye-catching. Yeah. 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 Well, it's certainly going to catch a few eyes, I'm sure, and we have discovered that that was... Raise your hand. <laughs> That's you. Okay. That was me. I was just, I was forced because I was the youngest there, so everyone's like, oh, they want you to be it. So then, yeah. okay. I okay. Said, to do okay. It then. And, and you're one of, you've four other sisters playing on the team? Yeah, there's five of us all together. Two of your sisters. Yeah. And there's how many sets of twins on the squad? Three, three, three sets of twins. twins. Sisters okay. doing it for themselves. They yeah. could yeah. be going for three in a row next year. Yeah. Oh, well, we wish you the best luck with the calendar. I know it's going to be on sale in Wexford and online, and we hope you raise lots of money for it. Thank you so much. Thanks, Thanks very much. Very much. Thanks so Thank you. And don't forget, if you've missed any of the programme, you can catch it online, tv3.ie slash 3player. Now, coming up tomorrow, diagnosed with neural...